YouTube, as promised, I am doing a diaper review. Now, for the kids um, and teenagers that watch this channel, um, well, and for adults too, for everyone out there, I have a disease that's called multiple sclerosis. Basically, it um, affects the nerves in my body. It makes it where my brain sometimes has a hard time communicating with my body parts, and I don't... Um, I can't control everything, including some, I occasionally lose, um, bladder control. And, um, so I use catheters, which, you know, I mean, most people know what catheters are, I think. Um, you know, I, I have used catheters. I try to cath at least once a day, um, just to try, but it's really hard because I have multiple sclerosis, so my fingers are really numb and um, that you know from the waist down is even more numb than my fingers because um, it's always like MS when I first started feeling it, it I felt it in my butt so anyway it's hard to catch sometimes with numb fingers and numb everything and then you know it's hard to even know like it's it's just hard but um, I still I try to do cathing at least once a day um, I have thought about the possibility of getting one of those catheters, um, you know, the, I, I don't remember what they're called, but anyway, in the meantime, what I also do is, um, occasionally wear diapers, and, like, a lot of the time wear diapers if, if I'm scared, because it's a whole lot better to, um, have an accident in a diaper than it is to have an accident in your clothes. Um, and so, anyway, I wanted to review a couple. Now, my situation might be different than yours. If you are out there and you also suffer from continence, remember that the diapers, I call them diapers, most people call them, um, um, I don't know, what's the official, depends, that's an actual brand, though, I don't know. But, anyway, I'm calling them diapers, they're the adult protective underwear. Um, but anyway, I'm a woman, so these are women's diapers. I also, um, have, like, my legs are pretty atrophied, and, you know, I'm, I've got a pretty small frame anyway, and so, um, bear that in mind, you know, depending on your body type, you might have very different reactions than what I have. Okay, so the first one, okay, this I actually like, and these, my sister sent them from, um, like, an online retailer, and they are Depends brand, but, um, she found a size small. At the store, the Depends that I see, um, they're usually all a small medium, and one of these, you know, I think it's this one might be, no, this one might be a Depends too, but I can't remember. I, I gotta look it up on my phone. But, um, anyway, that, this, this one, okay, I'll just keep talking about this for now. This, um, is the one that my sister sent me. Um, she got it online. They have the size small, usually in store. They're just small, medium. Um, small, medium is too big for me most of the time, um, except depending on the brand, different types of, like, small, medium might work. Um, so, as you will see in just a couple seconds, I'm looking, I'm almost there. Okay, so, next up we have... I think it's this one. Okay, this is Poise. No, Depends Silhouette. That's what this one is. Okay, Depends Silhouette. This, the problem I had with these, they only come in the um, small and medium size. And this area around the legs, since my legs are, you know, pretty small because, you know, I don't have much muscle tone or anything. My, the muscle I do have is from spasms. This leg hole opening is too big 
you know, um, for me now, so I don't know if you have large thighs or whatever, but let's just see the difference between like the one that fits good and the one that doesn't. Now, this one is a small medium, but on their packaging, Depends says it has um, new sizes coming soon. So, um, you know, hopefully, I think I had that backwards, hold on. Hopefully, um, they will get more, more, like, I don't know, a better fit, but I just didn't like it. Also, it seemed to go up, you know, high on the thigh area. Okay, so next, we have this, which, oh, that was, like, I think that one worked, but that was a always, um, let's see, always discreet boutique um and those you know they are supposed to be cute with a little bow um you know i think they should do a different color but maybe not like maybe you do want kind of a skin tone flesh tone these fit good um i don't know let me see if okay so like another issue that you should think about when you're purchasing, you know, diapers is how well they're going to hold up. And, um, I th these ones that I've all showed you so far, they were, you know, they didn't rip when I pulled them up. Um, it's pretty, pretty strong, you know, seams. Um, but there was one, I think it was this one that ripped a couple times when I was trying to get it on. And this is, let me see what that is. Assurance, that's women's assurance. Um, yeah. And so I guess, I guess it's maybe the Walmart brand or something, but this again, only came in small, medium, the leg openings were you know it was it was not as bad as the black one um on the like cutouts for your legs but um i think this is the one that ripped but i don't know because now you know it's hard because <laughs> i've been like saving them I, when i use up a pack i'll be like okay and then i'll get a different type now this this is always discreet underwear um small medium size but it fits really good it's comfortable um i like it the so yeah always it's a good brand depends seriously like stay tuned for their new sizes i think that will be very helpful um because that was also the black one was the depends brand and again that small medium was not very small medium um okay so like also if you if you use diapers or something like that, you might want to think about having, like, a carrying a small scissors or a small, like, clipper or something in your bag to clip the sides just in case. I mean, for me, sometimes with my fingers getting numb, it gets difficult, and I would rather the sides be stronger, not the kind that rips easily, because I had one, um, well, I think that was back when I was doing the kids, like, pull-up thing that, um, I had one that would rip, you know, I threw half of the pack away because they just ripped every time I would try to get it on. But anyway, okay, so that is my diaper review. It seems like I was supposed to talk about one other thing. Um, I don't know, but you know what? Let's just say this. Okay, if you out there are struggling with incontinence um, or experiencing it, it is a very difficult thing, and I used to, and still sometimes, do believe that it is, like, one of the worst parts of my disease. It's just so, um, so humiliating and stuff like that, but, um, I, personally, I think a lot of times I think of my bladder as a separate entity than me, like, I'm me, and then my bladder, you know, sometimes it can't, it's trying the best it can, too. I used to, you know, think it was my, say, 
you know all this stuff. Don't you watch my videos? I said, uh, like, I used to call it my sadistic master that would order me around and stuff, but now I think of it as just a bladder that um, has MS too, and so it's trying the best it can. But um, still, I don't take it as personally as I used to, like I used to. When I would have an accident or something, I would think, like, oh, you know, it sucks and it would be so frustrating, but um, I think sometimes it's helpful to kind of recognize that's not you. Like, you aren't your body parts, whatever those body parts might be that's messing up. Like, your bladder, your bowels, your, I don't know, your spasms or whatever. I mean, you aren't your disease. You aren't your illness. And, um, you know, just tr try not to take it personally. And then a lot of times, um, you know, do what you can to make it easier on yourself. And for me, a lot of times that is using the adult diapers that are out there and that might be an embarrassing thing that might be like a lot of people are embarrassed by them or to talk about it or whatever but um it shouldn't be it's just reality like i have a disease that you know it affects me and my body parts and so sometimes the best way to deal with it is to just protect protect your time because that's really ultimately that's what incontinence is it is a huge time waster <laughs> because you know you might be going to the store and all of a sudden you pee on yourself and then like you know there goes all your plans so anyway don't let it get you down do what you can to um just protect yourself and to you know and don't beat yourself up if it happens to you because um you know, it just, it happens to a lot of people, not just drunk college kids, <laughs> you know, but anyway, okay, that's it, bye YouTube.